Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Lab channel on YouTube. Today we have an interesting problem here. I said, how to rationalize this? Now, rationalize is really just a fancy word to say we don't want any radical signs on the denominator. Okay, the best way to get rid of the radical sign, of course, is multiply it so what um, somewhat conjugate. Okay, and since you multiply the same thing. Uh, on the bottom, you have to multiply the same thing on the top, so you don't change the way you started with. The reason we multiply what's opposite is this. a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. In order to get rid of the radical sign, we need a square term, and that's how we're going to achieve the system to get the radical sign. Okay, so from there, we have equals to, we're going to open up the top, let's just write it down for now. Okay. And on the bottom, I have 1 squared minus 1 over radical 5 squared, okay? On top, we have 1 squared minus twice of the 1. This is the cross term, okay? Don't forget this cross term on the test. A lot of students lose a lot of points because they simply thought, well, it's this squared plus this squared. No, you have to have the cross term here, okay? On the bottom, we're going to have... 1 minus 1 over 5, okay, because 1 over radical 5 times 1 over radical 5, the radical gets away, okay. Now on the bottom, and then we have 4 over 5, okay, on the top we have 1 plus 1 over 5, that's this term, okay, minus twice of radical 5. I'll we'll have to do it one more time, but let's take a look. So, so far we have uh, 6 over 5 minus 2 over radical 5, and the whole thing divided by 4, to 4 over 5, which is really equal to 5 over 4. That's how you deal with the, uh, what we call the compound fraction or staggering fraction here. So whatever on the bottom, I'm just going to multiply by the reciprocal. Okay. Now this one is not as pretty as we want it to be, so we're going to have to rationalize this one. Let's do it on the side. 2 radical 5 times radical 5 and radical 5, I have 2 radical 5 over 5. Okay, so let's write it down. 6 over 5 minus 2 radical 5 over 5, the whole thing times 5 over 4. Obviously, the 5 is going to cancel, okay, so I have a somewhat decent looking thing. 6 minus 2 radical 5 over 4. Or if you want to simplify one more time, because the common factor of 2, you can have 3 minus radical 5 over 2. This is the final answer. Now, sometimes students ask me, well, this 4 and this one cancel. Why do I have to divide that one one more time? Well, here's why. You're going to pull the 2 out, 3 minus radical 5 over 4. Okay. And then you can see this one gets divided. So you do have to divide both terms. Okay. Either way, here's the final answer. All right. Hope this helps. Have a confident day.